Hey guys, Steve here at Povemponics. We're here looking at the uh, the setup they have here for both the remineralization and the compost tea brewer at, at Ouroboros, uh, Ouroboros Farms. And um, so here they have a nice big blower uh, set up, hooked up, plumb to both their remineralization and over to their two compost tea brewers. Um, the uh, takes some system water, puts it inside of this big IBC tote here. You can see it's mounted up off the ground so that you can put a bucket in front of it. Uh, you know, we did a little little nozzle in there to get it back out. Um, they put the uh, compost tea in there. You can see there's a nice batch growing in there right now. Um, and then, uh, you know, before he uses it, he lets it settle for a little bit. Um, but basically, you uh, turn on the blower here um, and get that root nice and aerated. Then you add your fish water, some fish waste, any compost. Um, you know, a little bit of micro, uh, beneficial microbes, some molasses, um, many of your other mineral additives. Uh, so that's the compost tea brewer. And then over here you have the two minerals that remineral, remineralization tanks. So we'll put the fish waste, which he has right here, the liquid fish waste from the second or third pulls off of the, uh, the brewer. Oh, <laughs> try not to do that. <laughs> <laughs> take take two, take two. Okay, so it pours that in here, and that's basically loaded with fish waste. And what they'll do is take that and they'll aerate it and aerate it and aerate it and aerate it um, for different lengths of time. Um, how long are you aerating it now for? We do it on Monday and turn it off on Wednesday. Sure, so they do it about two or three days, they'll do a, a Re, uh, brew it up for and let that, that you know all those microbes break down and remineralize everything and then they'll add a percentage of that back to the system um, to get maximum uh, use of the um, the minerals inside there so it helps a lot with you know recapturing any minerals and maximizing the miner um, minerals that are in your system from the fish waste and just allows you to get a lot more out of your your fish waste so um, they have this nice dual setup here where they can do compost teas where they amended it all and then just pure fish waste um, you know, being broken down, so um, it's a real nice setup. I just wanted to show you guys. Um, you know, see they have a little bit of stuff to pH adjust it before it goes into the system, and um, yeah. So I just thought I'd show you guys. This is one of the nicer setups I've seen for remineralization or compost tea brewing. And um, uh, thanks for joining us. We should hit that subscribe button or check them out if you want to learn more about Ouroboros Farms. Check them out at ouroborosfarms.com. Thanks a lot. Here we are a little bit later. We got the. All the compost in there, and you can see the air blower is blowing, and we have a little mix in there. You brew this compost tea for you know, 40, 48 to 72 hours, and you pH adjust it, and you let it settle for a little, uh, maybe an hour or so before you use it. So, alrighty, thanks for watching.